This tutorial will cover creating a new meeting in your Zoom account and getting your link for that meeting so that you can place it in your course for students. First, go to zoom.us and sign in to your account. Once you've signed in, go to your meetings tab and any meetings that you already have scheduled will show up and previous meetings will be here. So we want to schedule a new meeting. Click on the schedule a new meeting button and the details for your meeting appear. You are required to give it a topic name. This could be anything such as Thursday weekly class meeting. The description area is optional. You can add something or not. You do need to go to the when and click here and enter the date. If you click on the little calendar, it'll launch a calendar for you so you can actually just pick from the calendar or you can type the time in. Be sure to pick your time. This would be your normally scheduled class time. Your duration for um, most classes is going to be an hour and 15 minutes. This is extremely important that you note the time zone. It's currently defaulting to Eastern Time, which is what we want, but since that is where our students, majority of them live, we want it to be on Eastern Time. You can make this a recurring meeting, which means it can repeat daily, weekly, monthly. So if you do, you could do daily, and it would repeat every day, and you could choose either by an end date or by a number of occurrences. So you could do it every day for seven days, you could do weekly, and you could repeat it every week, and you could actually have it occur on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And again, you can end it by date or by occurrences. You do not have to do it this way. This is just one way that makes it a little easier for you, and it will create several for you at a time. For academic purposes, leave registration required unchecked, as well as meeting password unchecked. For the video, while I know that you want to be on video for your students to help connect, I recommend that you leave this to off in this section because that way it'll give you a moment when you launch your meeting where you're not being shown, it'll give you a second to get your bearings and then you can turn on your camera at that point. And I would leave participants as off. Please leave audio set to both and under meeting options. I recommend that you mute participants upon entry because you can always unmute a student. They can unmute themselves, but that way you don't have a lot of noise when everybody's trying to come in. And you really would like to record the meeting automatically. And you can do that on the local computer or in the cloud. If, say, you were going to have a guest speaker, then you could put their email here under alternative host, but that's optional and you do not have to do it. The most important thing to remember at this point is to click save and when you do that your meeting is created and the most important thing is in your details right here next to invite attendees you have the URL that you're going to put in your course to provide to students and I'm going to show you how to do that next. So we're on here we have our details so the best, easiest thing to do is to go here and copy highlight the entire URL right click on it and you can copy it or you can simply click on it and say copy link address whichever one works best for you then in your d2l course you can do it one of several ways first i'm going to show you how to post it to news so as we're posting to news you're going to go to the front page of your d2l course click on news you want to add a new item headline is the title something such as we're now meeting online. And here in the content, you would give them some basic instructions such as visit this link we, during our normal um, date and time and you can put all those details such as our class normally meets on such and such a day at such and such a time. So visit and we're gonna add the link so they'll have it right there on the front page. And the way you do that is you click on this little thing that looks like 
um, kind of like a YouTube video player. If you hover over it, it says insert stuff. So we click on that, scroll down a little bit, and cl click insert link. And we've already copied that URL, remember? So we're going to just copy and paste that right there. And I did that with control V. Click next and give it the title. And this could be classroom link, meeting space. Give it something fairly descriptive and click insert. And now it's right there. If you click, don't even need to scroll down any further, click publish. If you go back to your course homepage, it's right there. And you would have had more details right here. I'm also going to show you how to add it to the content space. So you go to course tools from the main menu, you click content, and in the module where you want to place it, you could create a new module if you needed to called class meetings, but just go to where you want it to be. You click upload create, you can create a link, you can give it the title weekly class meeting. Copy and paste your link here and create. So now that you've done that and you return to your content page, you can see right here there's a weekly class meeting link for students. If they click on it, it is going to prompt them here. It's probably going to ask them to open Zoom meetings. They're going to say yes and then it will launch it. They're going to get a little test their computer audio. I'm getting that because I'm the host. You can enter from here as well. You would want to test your computer audio and then you would be able to go in. And that is exactly what it's going to look like. There's also another way you can always create a page in D2L instead of just putting this link that kind of embeds on a page and I'll show you what that looks like. So let's say we just wanted to create a page with all the links on it. You can go to Upload and Create, Create a File, and detail, D2L creates this kind of little WYSIWYG editor and you can edit information there. And again, descriptive titles, you could say link to weekly meeting, link to class meetings, and to make it look pretty, you can go over here and select a template, but as this is a new thing and we're all just trying to get it done right now. I recommend that you just put link to class meeting and you know, a little bit of detail like we had discussed earlier in the news feed. Again, click on insert stuff, insert link, and put in your link. Click next, link to meeting. If you copy and paste it in there, it's going to act weird in D2L and it's recommended that you do it this way. If you're unsure about this process, I recommend that you watch some of the other videos that we've created or some of the handouts within the workshop class that you're in just to walk yourself through it. But the Center for Teaching Excellence is always here to help you get this up and running. So you just let us know. And then if a student were to see this, they could would see link to class meetings. They could click on that and there it is. So I hope that helps. Again, please reach out to the Center for Teaching Excellence if you have concerns or you're having some trouble and we will walk you through it. Thanks so much.